To view an image, you may double click on the patient, you may double click on the examination, you may double click on the image. Once the image is launched, you will note the patient information overlay can be toggled by the O key to, re to add or reveal more or less information. Also, if I bring my cursor over to the left of the screen, it will open up the tools. We have numerous tools to choose from in and the users are able to customize their mouse to map out the mouse functions, the mouse keys, to the particular tool. So let's start with the pan tool. Also, by default, your system will always open with pan being the left mouse button, window and level being the right mouse button, and zoom being the center scroll wheel. So by default, Right mouse button will change the window and level of the image. Brightness and contrast. Center scroll wheel will zoom on the image. And left mouse button will pan the image. However, those can be changed by simply coming over here, selecting the new tool, we're going to use the magnifying glass. I'm going to map the left button of the mouse to the magnifying glass and by selecting the magnifying glass now from the left button, I open my magnifying glass and I can use my arrow keys up to increase the level of the magnifying glass, down to decrease the level of the magnifying glass, right arrow to increase the size of the magnifying glass, left arrow to decrease the size of the magnifying glass. The next tool I'm going to select is the region of interest tool. I'll give this one to the left mouse button. The region of interest tool works just like your smart box by allowing me to draw a square or a rectangle on the image that will adjust the image based upon the information and the size of that box as placed on the image. I can also reposition that smart box, drawing it over and over and over again to include or exclude whatever anatomies I wish. Next we have the invert tool that will change the polarity of the image from left to right. We also have a reset button here that will allow us to set the image back to where it was originally when first opened. And finally, on this palette, we have the layout button, which will allow us to choose the way the series is are laid out and the way the studies are laid out on the monitor by allowing us to split the monitor into, into two sides, as in this demonstration, navigating to the bottom of the screen to bring up the thumbnails and dragging and dropping the lateral next to the PA. So note here that when I move away from my tools, they disappear. But when I navigate my mouse back to the tools, they reappear. However, by locking it down here with this button, I can keep my tools available to me at all times and they do not disappear. Also, please note that as I've been using these tools, they've been populating over here in the left in my frequently used tools menu. So now that we've seen these tools here, the tools of pan, zoom, magnify, window level, smart box, invert, reset, and layout, let's look at the tools that are given with rotate. First we have flip vertically, flip horizontally, rotate left, and note that it rotates in 45 degree increments, and rotate right. Next we have our measurement tools. Our measurement con tools consist of a ruler that I will map my left mouse to, that will allow me to make measurements
We have a hounds field tool that when selected will give me the pixel value in hounds fields units of the selected area. We have a hounds field region that when selected will allow me to select a region it will give me the mean value of the pixels, it will give me the standard deviation, and it will give me the area of the region selected. Next we have an angle, which will allow us to measure angles, both internally and externally. We have a Cobb angle, which will allow me to make internal or external measurements as well on a Cobb angle. We have a center point tool, which will indicate the center point between two points. And finally, we have the heart to lung ratio tool that will allow me to measure an object and measure a second object and will give me the ratio between those two objects. Here we have some filters that can be applied, such as a sharpening filter that will sharpen the image, a histogram equalization tool that will equalize the histogram across the field, and for those tools we also have undo and redo. The sharpening filter allows us to uh, add significant edge enhancement on an image as demonstrated with this wrist. To show you a before and after comparison, I'm going to split my monitor into two, placing the sharpened image on the top, and I'll show you the comparison with the unenhanced image on the bottom.